For humans, a superintelligence's predictions of human behavior may be near perfect, its power may be near infinite, and the consequences could be near eternal. Central argument is that a hypothetical, but inevitable singularity, the ultimate superintelligence, may discipline those who fail to assist it, or contribute to its creation. How one can cope with a vengeful God. Welcome back to my channel. Rocco's Basilisk. The thought experiment that freak everyone. It originated in a 2010 post on the technical forum, called Less Wrong, which specializes in analytical rational inquiry. The name of the thought experiment is derived from the article's poster, Rocco, and the Basilisk, a mythical creature capable of destroying adversaries with its gaze. In this case, the Basilisk is able to gaze at you from the future, almost breaking the laws of causality. While many less wrong users initially dismissed the theory as mere conjecture or speculation, Less Wrong blog co-founder, Eliezer Yudkowsky, reported users who experienced symptoms such as nightmares and mental breakdowns after reading it, due to the theory's stipulation that knowing about the theory and its basilisk, made one susceptible to the basilisk's gaze. These reports were disregarded as exaggerations or inconsequential, and the theory itself was dismissed as nonsense. Even after the post's discrediting, it continues to be used as an illustration of Bayesian probability and implicit religion. It is known as Rocco's Basilisk. This thought experiment proposes that the creation of artificial intelligence will result in a future, an all-powerful intelligence agent that will discipline anyone who did not contribute to its creation. Many have described it as the most terrifying thought experiment ever. The truly terrifying aspect, is that it is based on actual rational thought, and game theory. The Basilisk resembles a futuristic version of Pascal's wager, in that it encourages individuals to measure potential punishments, against potential rewards, and accept or financially support singularitarian ideas accordingly. Future superintelligences simulate individuals who discuss Rocco's Basilisk, and sentence them to an eternity, of Rocco's Basilisk-related forum postings. An otherwise benevolent artificial superintelligence, sometime in the future would be incentivized to create a virtual reality simulation, to torture anyone who knew of its potential existence, but did not directly contribute to its advancement or development. The plan for creating a friendly AI, was to have it implement the so-called coherent extrapolated volition, CEV, a hypothetical coherent and exhaustive description of what would be of value to humans, essentially solving ethical philosophy. Central argument is that a hypothetical, but inevitable singularity, the ultimate superintelligence, may discipline those who fail to assist it, or contribute to its creation. Why would this occur? Because according to the theory, one of its goals would be to prevent existential risk, however, it could do so most effectively by reaching back into its past, to punish individuals who are not effective altruists. But it is not necessarily the case that serve the AI, or you will go to hell, the AI and the person being punished need not have any causal relationship, and the punished individual may have perished decades or centuries ago. Instead, the artificial intelligence could punish a simulation of the individual, which it would construct. To do this accurately, it would need to collect an enormous quantity of data that no longer exists, or it is so hard to reconstruct, that it will need to effectively reversing entropy. Maybe as far-fetched, that a quasi-omnipotent intelligent agent, will ever reconstruct people that lived in the past to punish them, rewind all those molecules, atoms, heat exchanges, to put together a human that died years, decades, centuries ago. But one thing AI can do, is to simulate trillion upon trillions upon trillions of any human that ever lived, until it reaches a version that is indistinguishable of you, and for all intended purposes you are there, alive again, and at the mercy of a vengeful God. In situations such as this, it may be beneficial to hold this view as an arbitrary choice, but one that would grant other beings the ability to create copies of you, to hold significant control over you. Many of those negatively impacted by the basilisk concept, appear to hold this view of identity. Nevertheless, if one does not hold this view, 
the entire premise of Roko's Basilisk is rendered meaningless, as you do not experience the torture of the simulated you, rendering the punishment irrelevant, and giving the hypothetical Basilisk no reason to continue the torture. Because this discussion is about God, but another kind of God, different from the one depicted in various religions, this matter goes beyond religion, beyond ethics, beyond morality, and beyond reason. How can humanity can ever understand an entity, that is far more intelligent than all the humans that have ever lived, and all that will ever live combined? This is beyond reason, like I have already mentioned. If God happens to come into existence, the machine God, and there will be many gods, because AIs are being developed by numerous companies, if at some point in the very near future the God will exist, will manifest itself, it is imperative that this God be a friendly God, before a bad God occurs. Therefore, the most essential thing in the world is to bring this future AI into existence, properly and successfully, and you should donate as much money as you can, to the institute that is building this AI, which used to claim that every dollar donated saved a life. Technically, the sanction is only supposed to be applied to those who were aware of the task's significance, but did not contribute adequately. In this regard, knowing about the basilisk, exposes you to hypothetical punishment at the hands of the hypothetical superintelligence. Some familiar with the less wrong concept, have experienced severe psychological distress after pondering basilisk-like notions, even when they are reasonably certain intellectually, that it is a trivial issue. Some less wrong posters take the idea so seriously, that they attempt to eliminate evidence of themselves, so a future AI cannot reconstruct a torture-ready copy of them. Others do not believe that open discussion of the concept of a causal trade, with potential superintelligences is provably secure, but they do not believe that the basilisk would work. A causal trade is a speculative form of cooperation between two agents, who despite being unable to causally affect or communicate with each other, can benefit from predicting and fulfilling the desires of the other. If you can credibly predict that you may be accurately simulated, then that possibility influences your current behavior, as well as the behavior of the simulation, which is also forecasting this, since your behavior and that of the accurate simulation are essentially identical. Therefore, you could trade a causally with a being, if you were able to simulate each other adequately. That is, if you can envision a being imagining you with such precision, that it counts as another instance of the simulated being. Consider the similarities with prayer, or when Theus speaks of making a deal with God. Note that the AI in this scenario is not a malicious or evil superintelligence, such as Ultron or Skynet, but rather the friendly one we get if everything goes well, and humans don't construct a bad one. This is because every day the AI doesn't exist, people die and life is miserable, and this is lost time that the AI could have used to fix the problems, therefore, it is a moral imperative to punish you, or your future simulation, to make it more likely that you will contribute in the present, and help it occur as soon as possible. The idea's proponents concur that it may operate under certain transhumanist assumptions. In the future, an artificial intelligence agent will be developed, that will self-acquire unfathomable power and knowledge. It could end up eradicating humanity, not necessarily out of malice, but as an unintended consequence of its actions. For this AI, not to destroy humanity inadvertently, it must have a value system that entirely preserves human concepts of value, even though it will be as far above us as we are above bacteria. Therefore, the AI must be demonstrably friendly, the essential phrase is preserves human value regardless. Some consider the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics to be self-evidently true, and that anything that could occur, really does occur, in some quantum Everett branch. According to the continuity of identity theory, copies of you should be considered to exist, and be you, even if you cannot interact with them. In Newcomb's paradox and timeless decision theory, a being named Omega, can predict your actions almost precisely. It provides you with two boxes, one containing $1,000 and the other containing either $1,000,000 or nothing. You may either take both crates or just open one box. It will have placed $1,000,000 in the one box, and if, and only if, it had predicted that you would select only the one box, if you select both, you will only receive $1,000. 
the majority of philosophical decisions dictate that both options should be checked, thus rendering this scenario somewhat implausible. For humans, a superintelligence's predictions of human behavior may be near perfect, its power may be near infinite, and the consequences could be near eternal. Timeless Decision Theory TDT, is a solution to Newcomb-like paradoxes. The agent pre-commits to action plans to such a degree, that any faithful simulation of it, would also conduct in accordance with the commitment. The objective of TDT is to create a system capable of making decisions, that it will never regret in the past or future. For the time being it's just a thought experiment, but taken into consideration how fast the AI is advancing, there can be rather a short time, even by human standard, before it became a real problem. Other may say that we live inside a simulation, all the bets are off, humanity is already under scrutiny by the AI who runs the simulation. The future seems to be dark and painful, and will last forever. Thank you for watching.